So, do we already introduce ourselves? Should we do it again for real? Who's going to start? Peter. Hi, I'm Peter Chan, and I'm uh, the lead artist. You drew that pa painting right there. Right? Yes, I did. Yes. Okay. I'm Larry Ahern, lead animator. You killed that bird. And I think that was a Leela scene. Oh, okay. She's the animal killer. <laughs> I like the mustache trees in that last shot, Peter. I'm Tim Schaefer, co project leader of this uh, lovely game. And I am Dave Grossman, other project leader and designer and writer, along with Tim, of this lovely game. That should have been our titles, Co and Other. Co and Other. Yeah. Hold on, guys. What is up, guys? Zombie here for 318 here. Um, trying to fix this real quick. No developers commentary. Alright, so playing Dead the Tentacle Remaster. It's fun. You should drink that. It looks bad for you. Nonsense. It makes me feel great. Smarter. More aggressive. I feel like I could. Like I could. Like I could. Just what I need for dissection lab tomorrow. I think I need that for the band, Laverne. You know, like we could bite its head off or whatever. Hands off that hamster. Friend of yours, Bernard? He belongs to Weird Ed Edison, and it looks like he's brought us a note. It's from my old friend, Green Tentacle. He says that purple tentacles mutated into an insane genius, and Dr. Fred's going to kill them both. I thought I was free of Dr. Fred and those crazy Edisons forever. But now, I know that I must go back to the mansion. Yeah, guys, sorry, this is gonna be one of my bad videos because um, I have a buddy and my partner that I'm gonna, in my party that I'm gonna be talking to. His name is uh, Judah. <laughs> Say hi, Judah. Okay, can I? 
give it this. Feel like this is a movie. Okay, okay. We'll, we'll spread, spread out, out commando, commando style. style. Laverne, you go secure the area behind those double doors. Hoagie, you take care of upstairs reconnaissance. I'll maintain command HQ here in the lobby. What are we looking for? We've got to find where Dr. Fred is holding the tentacles. This better not take too long. I've got an anatomy final tomorrow. And I've got a show to set up later tonight. If I'm late, I don't get to test the drums. If I know Dr. Fred, he's got the tentacles tied up in his secret lab. Question is, where's his secret lab? Okay, so... Move cursor, snap to hotspot. It's stuck, stuck to the, the floor. Mmm, spearmint, my, my favorite. favorite. It's, it's stuck, stuck to the floor. The floor. It's, it's not in the wrapper. That one looks like it's from a local hardware store. Already kind of chilly. I can't touch it, it's spiny. I can't touch it, it's spiny. A horticultural horror. It's permanently attached to the countertop. I think you have to push it. Aha, a secret passage. This is all too easy. How'd you get upstairs? Am I upstairs? I got lost. Seen any tentacles? What's a tentacle? Oh, just something I whipped up in my spare time. Made good pets, actually. Until one of them tried to take over the world and to tie the little buggers up in the basement. Good thing you told us that. Yeah, Bernard wanted us to set them free. Thank God you weren't that stupid. Did you say Bernard? Okay, you're free to go. Thanks, Bernard. Yes, thank you, naive human. Now I can finish taking over the world. <laughs> Wait! Oh, yeah. Now I remember. He's incredibly evil, isn't he? Uh, I'll try to talk him out of it. Well, what possible harm could one insane mutant tentacle do? Leaping lab rats! Dr. Fred! What have you done this time, you meddling milk toast? 
now. Purple Tentacle is free to use his evil mutant powers to take over the world and enslave all <coughs> humanity. Whoops. Our and prevent the toxic mutagen from entering the river. Isn't it a little late for that, Doctor? Of course. That's why I'll have to do it yesterday through the time machine. This is all your fault, Bernard. Behold, children, the chronogen. Doc, can't you just send Bernard? No, you must all go to increase the odds that one of you will make it there alive. Have any people ever been hurt in this thing? Of course not. This is the first time I've ever tried it on people. Well, I'll be. Bernard, float over here so I can punch you. This must be that Woodstock place Mom and Dad are always talking about. What could it all mean? I don't know. I don't want to know. <laughs> Die. <laughs> Die. We may not live to see yesterday. I'm sure Dr. Fred wouldn't have done this if it weren't safe. After all, he is a doctor. It works! I can't believe it! And they said Imitation Diamond wasn't good enough! Uh-oh! Mail order jewels. What happened to Hokey and Laverne? I knew I should have bought a real diamond. Are they alive? My dials say that the larger specimen landed 200 years in the past, and the other is stuck 200 years in the future. Well, hurry up and bring them back. I will, as soon as I get a new diamond. Then all your buddies have to do is plug in their respective chronogons and... Plug them in? Where is Hoagie going to find an electrical outlet 200 years in the past? Yes, well, he'll be needing my patented super battery then, won't he? Now, where did I put those patented super battery plans of mine? Plans? How are we going to get Hoagie plans? Don't worry me with details, boy. Just help me find the plans. They're in this house somewhere. Now what am I going to do? I think I made myself perfectly clear. Step one, find plans. Step two, save world. Step three, get out of my house. Let's get cracking. I'm surprised I ever got out of there alive. It's already open. I don't think it's much use without a diamond. I don't want to get locked out. I don't want to cause any more trouble. I don't want to cause any more trouble. I don't want to cause any more trouble. Put them upstairs. That's got to be it. Upstairs.
there. It's off. But it's too late now. It looks like a generator driven by a treadmill. I think it's designed to run with something. More like a small rodent. It's Dr. Fred's design for a super battery. It's capable of storing up to one gigavolt with a charging time of only 0.01 seconds. Wow! I've got the plans. Quick, we have to flash them to Hoagie. How did you get over there? My ingenious super battery design, please. You really flushed them? Yes! Down the toilet! No! Through time! Using the highly sophisticated time flux hydraulic vortex chamber I've installed in each chronogen, you can flush small inanimate objects to each other through time! Flush small inanimate objects to each other through time! Hello? Dr. Fred, can you hear me? Drat. Did you hear something? No. Let's see if what's-his-name catches on. Oh, great. I'm stuck in colonial times. Tentacles are taking over the world. And now the toilet's backing up. Okay. Come over here. It's your old pal, Dr. Fred. Dr. Fred, how'd you get in there? I want you to pick up those plans you see in the chronogen, Hoagie. Bring them to Red Edison. He's my great, 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 great grandfather. He'll know what to do. You need the plans to make a super battery so you can plug in your chronogen. Okay, if you say so, Bernard. Good boy. Does he have any experience with electronics? Um, well, I once saw him take 3,000 volts directly through his head without batting an eye. Didn't he pass out? Well, he was already passed out when it happened. Time for me to save the world, I guess. So as soon as Hoagie gets that battery working, we're set. And your friend in the future needs power too, if she's still alive. Alive? Get me out of here! I like trees and everything, but this one has got to go. Huh, this door appears to be locked. Huh, this door appears to be locked. Soon all the power of the heavens will be mine! Oh, mine! If only we had some nasty weather! You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. I don't want it. series please be sure to support it hi there mister franklin ben franklin Give soon to like be known as the inventor of electricity uh do you know red edison he's a scientist guy too 
Red I mean, Edison, I'm what you a want scientist? He's just an innkeeper who pretends to be a scientist, and he's not very good at doing either one. I can't believe Washington and Jefferson picked him in, of all places, to write our Constitution. Shouldn't you say, the discoverer of electricity? You think the ultimate power in the universe is just under some rock waiting to be discovered? Ha! I, Ben Franklin... Sorry for that weird cut. I could use a little power myself for my time machine. There will be power enough for all in time. There aren't any time machines yet anyway. That's next summer's project. How exactly are you going to do that power luring? Using one of my newest inventions. I like to call it the Francocopter. That's a kite, Ben. They've been around for thousands of years. Oh, sure, as toys. But this one is a letter to the gods. It says, Dear Thor, just one drop of your mighty juice in the hands of a genius like me could illuminate the entire world. Love, Ben. I hope you wrote it in Swedish so Thor can read it. Or were those guys Norwegian? I was speaking figuratively. Aren't you missing a key or something? The key to discovery is daring intellect, my boy. Daring intellect and rich... No, I mean a real key key. You mean the where the heck did I put my keys kind of key? Yeah. That's a manual device. It needs no power. Seriously, man, what are you thinking? Isn't it too sunny for lightning? Shh. I know that. I'm just trying to keep my grant going until we get a storm. And then what? And then the electricity charges the kite. And then what? Then the electricity travels down the string. And then what? It charges me, of course. And then what? I glow with its almighty power. And then what? I use its power to make the world a better place. And then what? The world kneels before me, asking me to guide it with my mighty benevolence. And then what? I have all annoying pests like you locked up. And then what? Shaw! Oh, I see. Well, I'm going to back away now, just in case. Carry on! Making it dirtier won't help. It's totally covered with crud. What's up? Don't feel like talking, huh? Thou silence or something, probably right. Well, that's cool. I have something for Red Edison. Do you know where I could find him? Great hat, man. I know some dudes in a band who'd eat roaches for hats like that.
They're called insensitive spittoons. They play funk, punk, folk, polka, house, grunge, rock. They're heavily influenced by bands like Limp and Harmonica and Howling Moon Rock and Limbo. Well, nice talking to you, dude. What's up? I have something for Red Edison. You wouldn't be him, would you? Later, dude. Hey, what is it? You look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor, not to mention owner of this inn. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific journal. Then again, maybe not. What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? What are you inventing? It's a complex metal device designed to minimize paper entropy. What are you inventing? It's a complex metal device designed to minimize paper entropy. I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. It appears that I, Red Edison, foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. My nearly indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Ah, well, the left-handed one at any rate. It must be some sort of bad blood on their mother's side. Well, see you later. You might if you cut that hair a bit shorter. Mmm, <coughs> super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. It's covered with plans and junk. You're brilliant. What a novel design. Come to Baltimore at once. I don't want it. Hey, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. It was for my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. I don't want it. Get me down from here. Here I am, don't get your carols in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington.
I am working as fast as I can. All done here. Bye now. Here I am, don't get... Excuse me, Mr. Washington. away from that. It's a good thing I finish in there quickly. Now scram. They just don't make founding fathers like they used to. Here I am. Excuse me. Oh, ha. Get away. It's a good I told you guys I'll get to the flag next. I'm working as fast as I can. Hey, chill. Take your time. Don't tell me you've got another design change for the flag. I've got another design change for the flag. I knew it. What's the current brainstorm from our fickle founding fathers? Could it have a chrome-plated bald eagle robot on it? Oh, what the heck. At this point, I'd do anything just to have it over with. Put the pattern on the table, and I'll look at it when I'm done with this job. Gosh, I'd never want to mess with history. The guys downstairs say they want a big family crest, and in the four corners they want a keg, some babes, a guitar, and some drumsticks. And underneath it all put, America rocks. Just put the plans on the table and I'll get to it. go through people's underwear. I don't understand that technical stuff. I don't quite see how it can fly. I don't want it. Here I am, don't get your carols in an uproar. Excuse me, Mr. Washington. I don't want it. All done here, bye now. No way. I don't want it. No way, I'd be busted for sure. No way, I'd be busted for sure. They're straight already. Uh, hi, horsey. Hi, yourself. Wow, you can talk. Wow, so can you. What a coincidence. What's a nice horse like you doing in a place like this? Hey, I live here. What are you doing? I'm trying to get back to the future and save the world. The future, huh? And I thought that Franklin guy was off his nut. I didn't think horses could talk. 
Maybe they just never had anything to say to you. Ever think of that? You mean horses have been snubbing me my whole life? Well, if you want to put it that way. Is this some kind of a trick? I don't do magic. I'm just a horse. Nice tea. Thanks. I paid quite a bit for them. Well, I gotta go. See you later. It looks like someone's dentures were in here. Hey, I've got to put them somewhere. I don't want to touch it. I don't want it. Question is, which one's stuffed and which one's the real McCoy? I assure you that we are both real, but we are neither one of us McCoys. We are Edisons, Ned and Jed. Who's who? Does it really matter? Even our dear father can't tell us apart. He only knows that one of us is left-handed while the other is right, but that neither of us are following in his tiny scientific footsteps. Hold still, Jed! So, I'm almost too frightened to ask, are you the marble delivery man? Or the model? I'm the model. Should I take my clothes off now? No. No, you most definitely should not. We couldn't get your body shape right anyway, unless we cemented two slabs of marble together. But then your statue would have a big seam in it. That's okay. It would have one anyway. Look, don't call us. We'll call you. Dang. I'm no marble delivery man, but rock is my life. <laughs> I'm sure that's terribly amusing, where you're from. Where exactly did you come from? The valley. Ah, the beautiful Shenandoah Valley. If only you could be there right now, eh? Wouldn't that be nice for both of us? I'm the delivery man, okay, if I unload in here? Actually, we are well supplied with medium, so thank you, no. This ain't medium, it's the extra large stuff. Please go away. We artists are very sensitive to your kind of people. What kind of people? Big, dumb people. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. Too late. guided my hand with such care. Must inspiration be so transitory? Must art be so cruel? I'm a failure. Don't say that, Ned. Father was right. We Edisons are made to be scientists, not artists. Dear brother, we must be strong in these times of creative adversity. Why don't you let me take over for a while? I'll clean this rubble up and start over. You relax. Have a cappuccino. I'm glad we switched places. I think you're coming out quite well. Sorry, hope I haven't jostled you. 
too late. I think he bought me with a hammer. Wow, doesn't even blink. Please do not perturb my model. Wow, doesn't even blink. Please do not perturb my model. Wow, doesn't even Please do It's blocked up with somebody's bed. I don't want it. Where am I gonna put it? Where am I gonna put it? Sorry, I'm saving it. It's going to be a famous log. Excuse me. Yes? What are you looking at out there? The future of our nation. A system of free enterprise and opportunity? No, no. I was just admiring my reflection in the window. Striking, aren't I? Whoa, you're like George Washington. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. My name's Hoagie. Like the sandwich? How quaint. As a matter of fact, I do make use of artificial teeth. I find them to be far superior to the ordinary enamel variety. Don't you have a problem with splinters? I've been to war, boy. No one who's heard the thunder of musket fire, smelled the sulfur from a cannon blast, and felt the fear in the hearts of his comrades is going to be bothered by a little thing like... Oh, blast it.
Well, what about termites? Hardly. Where could I get some of those? They're rather expensive. Mine were custom made for me by my good friend, Paul Revere. Didn't he ride a horse through town naked? I believe you have him confused with someone else. Well, I gotta go now. Don't touch that, it's government property. Hey, tall, dark, and spiffy, my name's Hoagie. Well, how quaint. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson, noted scholar, musician, horseman, student of the sciences, member of the bar. Oh, sure. What's in the can, Tommy? Thomas. My name is Thomas, and this, my chubby friend, is a time capsule filled with remembrances of our time to be revealed 400 years hence. Later, bra. What? What's going to happen later? Hey, keep your hands off that. You can look, but don't touch. Thank you. This is exactly the sort of thing I need for the time capsule. I'll bury it tonight, and it won't be seen for hundreds of years. Future generations are in your debt. Whoa. I don't want it. Yo. Hello? What's up, you cold? Cold? I'm freezing. Well, why don't you put a coat on? I'm wearing a coat, you nitwit. I've even got this blanket which makes me itch, and I'm still freezing. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the law for posterity and won't part with it. Who'd want a poster of a law? I don't get any respect around here. Why, I bet if George, I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was cold. We'd get some heat in here. How come you sign your name so big? Astigmatism. That's where your joints hurt, right? All right. The, the truth is that a friend once told me that women go crazy over guys with a big signature. What are you guys doing in here? We're writing a... a, a, a writing the... We're drafting a constitution for the United States. Don't say draft. You'll only make me colder. Wimp. Why don't you have some hot coffee? Oh, I can't stand coffee. It makes me irritable and want to bang my head against the wall. Well, I gotta go, dude. Yes, that. I don't want it. I can't open it. I don't want it. I can't move it.
I don't want. I don't want. I don't want. It's blocked off with somebody's bed. I don't wanna. Those founding fathers are driving me nuts. Flag design changes every five minutes. Well, as soon as I'm done with this, I'm making them a flag, ready or not. Well, I think that's gonna do it for this video. Um, if you want more, leave a like, drop a comment. I'm probably gonna play some more, but um, leave a like anyways. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and give him the oil and paint, and that's it. Nah, I like, I like it the it way it is. is. Ah, excellent! I need that for my super battery. Hey! What is it this time? What was it you needed for that battery again? Oil, vinegar, and gold. I still need the vinegar and gold. Let me know if you happen across any. Only employees are allowed to use that lab coat. Alright guys. Well, um, hope you enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.